Hey there, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lexi, and today we have a juicy topic to dive into. Is Go Black to Africa a CIA operative? Many of you have been speculating in the comments, and today we're going to explore the possibility. Get ready to examine the evidence with me, and let's figure out once and for all if Go Black to Africa is really an agent or not. Let's get into it. Go Black to Africa is a 58-year-old man who started his YouTube channel approximately four years ago. He has a large following of over 300,000 subscribers. Originally, his videos were about escaping the oppression of the West and moving to Africa where we could all be free and thrive. Go Black actively encouraged African Americans to leave the good old USA for greener pastures on the African continent. His content sought to showcase the positive aspects of Africa and convince us black Americans that there was something better over there, a better life that was not afforded to us in the United States. But somewhere along the line, his tune changed and his videos were about how he never ever moved to Africa and that he himself was not an African and that Africa was a curse to African Americans who chose to move to the continent. If you want more info on that, check out my playlist on Go Black to Africa. Link is in the description. Before I do a deep dive into Go Black, I want to first talk about the CIA. A lot of people don't really know what it is, how it works, or what a CIA agent does. So here's a quick take. Imagine the CIA is like a team of super spies working for the United States. They gather secrets and important information to keep the country safe. The CIA, or Central Intelligence Agency, began in 1947, and its job is to find out what's going on in other countries, especially if something could be dangerous for America. Think of it like a detective agency, but instead of solving mysteries in your neighborhood, they're figuring out what might be happening all around the world. Here's what the CIA does. Spying on important stuff. The CIA sends out operatives, that's a fancy word for spies, to different countries. These operatives pretend to be regular people, but secretly, they're keeping an eye on things and sending information back to the U.S. This helps the government make smart decisions about things like wars, threats, and peace. Stopping danger before it happens. If there's a bad group, like terrorists, planning something dangerous, the CIA tries to figure it out before it happens. It's like getting a sneak peek at the bad guy's plan so they can stop it in time. They might stop a cyber attack, prevent bombs from going off, or protect important people. Working with other countries. Sometimes, other countries need help dealing with their own problems, like Africa. Like stopping terrorists or catching criminals. The CIA works together with those governments to share information and help out. It's like teaming up with a friend to solve a big puzzle. Keeping secrets. The CIA does everything super secretly. They can't let anyone know what they're doing because if the wrong person finds out, it could ruin their mission. So they're experts at being sneaky and keeping things quiet. Helping the U.S. government. Once they gather all of this information, the CIA shares it with the U.S. government. The president and other leaders use this information to decide what to do next, like how to handle a tricky situation with another country or protect people from danger. A CIA operative or spy is a person who works for the government to gather information about other countries. Their job is to find out important things about other countries, especially if those countries might be planning something that could harm the United States. 
A CIA operative often works undercover, pretending to be someone else in order to get close to the people or places they need to learn about. This is called infiltrating. They might live in another country and work quietly to collect secrets, like what other governments are planning or if there are any threats to the U.S. They also have to be very sneaky and good at keeping secrets. CIA operatives have to be brave and smart, and they often have to travel to different countries to do their work. The CIA sometimes works in ways that might sound surprising. Instead of just gathering secrets, there have been times when they've tried to create confusion in other countries to achieve their goals. One way they do this is by spreading disinformation, basically spreading lies or fake stories to trick people. Let me break it down for you. Disinformation is when someone spreads false or misleading information on purpose. The goal is to make people believe something that isn't true or to confuse them so much that they don't know what to believe. Imagine someone telling a bunch of lies in your neighborhood to make everyone argue or distrust each other. That's kind of how disinformation works on a bigger scale. The CIA might spread rumors or fake news in a country to cause trouble. For example, they might spread a false story that a leader is doing something bad, even if it's not true. This could make people in that country lose trust in their leader, causing protests or arguments. By creating confusion like this, the CIA might hope the government in that country becomes weaker, giving the U.S. more power or influence there. The people in that country might start to question everything, and that chaos can make it easier for other groups to take control or for the U.S. to push its own plans. The CIA has also been involved in situations where they try to destabilize or weaken a country's government. They might do this if the country's leader is not friendly to the U.S., the CIA could secretly support groups that want to overthrow the leader or make things difficult for the government to stay in power. Sometimes, they might even secretly help organize protests or give money to groups that are trying to create change. If the government falls apart, it's called destabilizing because things become unstable. Like a chair with one broken leg, they can't stand up straight anymore. So, at the end of the day, the CIA sometimes uses disinformation and other tricks to confuse people or make governments weaker. The goal is to protect the U.S. or push its plans, even though it can cause trouble in the countries they're targeting. So, for some, Go Black to Africa is the YouTuber that they love to hate. And I was really shocked when I saw so many comments accusing him of being a CIA agent or some sort of governmental agent. And here's a sampling of those comments that were made. One user says, I'm starting to think he's an agent. And another one says, duh, it figures. Go Black to Africa is an obvious undercover counterintelligence agent, CIA possibly, engaging in online disinformation and psychological messaging targeting us so-called Black Americans. It appears that Go Black to Africa's entire subversive agenda is to discourage us Black Americans from reconnecting with Africa and continental Africans. He is a trained U.S. Army CIA operative sent to put you off from going to Africa. Africa is developing without you haters anyway. He causes confusion. That's what agents do. He also worked in the military, United States government. 
He was on fire during the 2020 exodus, seemingly was the primary YouTuber aside from Wotamaya that was encouraging transition. Then he came to the motherland on a high horse, contradicting his own message and now completely all over the place. Go Black to Africa is a Hebrew Israelite. Ha ha ha. That's why he speaks all that religious brain dead inf misinformation. He used to work for the U.S. military. Sounds agency. He is a Western agent who doesn't know who he is. This is an American agent. Of the super slave plantation who is bred to be brainwashed, this de-Africanized creature of colonialism is finally fully exposing himself as an agent for white supremacy, chosen and sent to promote confusion amongst African people. The true African freedom fighters must rise now. He really hurt and disappointed, or an agent everyone has his price. So as you can see, there is a lot of mystery shrouding Go Black's intentions. And a lot of people think that, you know, he's working for the U.S. government. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. On the Tariq Radio YouTube channel, he posted a video called how to recognize ops in black empowerment spaces. I thought it was timely in the making of this video. Here's a short audio clip. Miss Brooke in the building. Hello, good night, how are you? Hey dear, how are you? I'm good. Um, when you were talking earlier about um, the ops that they send to us, um, before the nail shop happened, it was something that like really um, interests me, like how people were able to infiltrate different things. And um, the Watts poetry, I forgot exactly what it was called, but they, were, they had some building in Watts. And they asked the guy um, who basically burnt it down, yeah, how... Perry, yeah. Pardon? His name was Dothard Perry. Yeah. Yes. They asked him, how was he able to get close enough to be able to burn it down and all the other things that he did? And he said, I did whatever they didn't want to do. Yeah. He built the stage, he built the sound system, and then he burnt it all down. So I'm, I'm just bringing these facts up so the family can pay attention to these type of things so they can kind of spot the infiltrators. I also want them to pay attention to inconsistencies. You know, people sit there and say that they fight for us, but if you really pay attention, they have like feminist talking points or other type of talking points that just don't seem to like match up with the rest of what they're saying, you know, um, pay attention to things like that. Or they'll come speak in one way in the beginning and then end up speaking a different way at the end when they feel you out, you know. Thank you so much, Jason. Mr. Brooke brought up some great points. Um, and going back to what the brother was saying earlier about how to vet potential ops, because what they do, man... One thing they do, they'll send in people to just do a lot of work for a movement. They'll be they'll be on the phone. They'll be putting up flyers. They'll be just doing a whole lot of stuff, working harder than everybody. You're like, oh, wow, this person is down. And all along, you know, that person might be a damn op. The person is gaining your trust. So what do you think? Is Go Black to Africa a CIA op? Is he spreading disinformation and creating confusion among Africans and African Americans? Or is he just a man seeking to accept himself in a world that rejects him for who he is? Let me know in the comments. If you found this video enlightening, please like, comment, and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.